Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we've got another uh, round, Swiss round five of our Zelda One Pentaforce tournament. Um, tonight we are featuring Breasticle and Gary and Wolf's matchup on co commentary. I've got Aerodyne. How you doing? I'm doing just fine, actually. Uh, hopefully, this will be a good matchup. These guys are both two and two, so this is, well, for all the marbles, whoever wins this is getting the brackets. Yep, sure to be an exciting match uh, on. Uh, tracking, I have CCX and restreaming is Gamer Girl, and we'd like to thank Randomania for hosting us uh, before we get started here. Yeah, this matchup, like I said, this is going to be pretty interesting because both are two and two, both really want to make that bracket. So we'll have yes. to see on how this turns out. This seed. Yep. Do you know if uh, there's been any changes between the round four and round five? No, as far as I know, the seed settings are still the same for the rounds. I think they'll only change when we get to bracket. So we can go ahead and break down the seed settings like you know at this point. Yeah, so um, we need uh, five Triforces to enter level nine. Um, we have level or quest one shapes and overworld. Uh, the book is acting as our translator for all the hints, so all those old men who give hints such as um, where a certain level is, where the silver arrows are, all the hints in the hint shops will be uh, gibberish until we find the book. Um, important items can be located in level 9. Um, am I forgetting anything? Probably. Uh, enemies plus 2, minus 2 HP, except Ganon, of course, because he can only be at a 15 or lower. Also, uh, I'm trying to remember anything else on the top of my head that's kind of important. Oh, bombs. Uh, bombs can be plus two to plus six on upgrades. Yeah, I think that's uh, it. If anything else pops into my head, I'll be sure to let everyone know. Yeah, it looks like uh, BT's now getting set up along with Gary, and so we should be starting probably in the next minute or two. Any uh, guesses on the start screen? I would say these runners are probably hoping for a northeast start for all those free open caves in that area, pretty much. I'm just going to throw it out there and uh, guess Death Mountain tonight. Oh, wow. You're, you're, wanting that, you're wanting the nasty spawn. Or actually, the worst spawn I've seen at the tournament so far is southwest corner, all the way in the corner. Yikes. Yeah, not, that would not be not nice. terrible if you have, like, an early ladder. You can do the world wrap, but other than that. Yeah, I know. They didn't get the early ladder at all. So, yeah, it turned out to be a very interesting seed for Overworld, and considering that the firing squads for the Lionels were in some of the worst areas you could ask them for. And our Overworld enemies are... Remaining on the overworld, right? They're that is correct. In. Yes, they're not shuffled into dungeons at all. So Lionels are only overworld only. I was just thinking about that. Like, have I seen any overworld enemies in dungeons this tournament or not? It's a lot to keep track of. Yeah, that is. And it looks like, yeah, we're about ready to get going here in just a moment. We've got a BT and Gary now at the start screen. So probably just waiting. Yep. Waiting for the race to start, and we should be underway here very shortly. So Cosmo Kramer might say, uh, let's giddy on up. Yeah, let's see what that uh, start screen is here in a moment. All right, by a lake. Yeah, interesting start, considering they're going to get a quick Amos check here and see if the Amos item is indeed right here, but doesn't look like any luck so far with BTs, and ooh, the firing squad gets him. Yep, before he could check that, uh, the last spot there. All right, so it looks like uh, Garen chose to do a different uh, run. Instead of going for that open cave and the Amos check, he's going to go down here into the forest, it looks like. 
I've headed down towards start. Um, excuse us on Beatus's side as we sync up the streamers. Nothing but a potion shop there at Vanilla Start. Hey, I approve of Gary and Sprite here being a Lionel. I mean, I mean now we're gonna see Lynx firing, being the firing squad. Infinite beam swords as uh, Garion finds level four early on here. Yeah, pretty close to Vanilla Start, so this should be interesting. And wow, Ooh, is that, that message. a meat block? Or is that just the hint? I think it's just the general hint. Ooh, and ladder blocked. Yep, and filled with all these dark rooms here in level four. Yeah, BT going for candle. Oh, he's a candle roll, but he can't check anything yet. So he doesn't have a blue candle, so I'm guessing he's gonna go check vanilla one here in a moment. Nope. Nope. Up. Bypasses. That's it. Scarion's over here towards vanilla level three. Not sure. Looks like BT's gonna go explore uh, Death Mountain a little bit. Well, there's a few open caves over here. Looking for that wood sword. Yes, and the uh, uh, key price, ouch. Yeah, if possible another shop has them a little cheaper. Yeah. So there's a 25 medium secret there on BT's side. Fortunately, five lower in vanilla, but I, we haven't seen the large or the small, so we can't quite call poverty seed yet. Looks like Garion's up here over by this Armos. Yeah, we didn't get a check under the uh, the last one there on the right, on the top row, so let's see if the item is indeed there. Nope, open no case. No item. Ooh, that's a, that's a pretty awful low secret at two rupees. Yuck. Yeah, we might have a poverty seat on our hands if that large is low. Yeah, uh, BT's now up in the northeast. Well, Garion's looking to be explore. Apparently, he's going to go back to that Amos to try to get in that cave. And we found the Amos item. It is Lord Banana, or the Wooden Boomerang. All hail. Putting it to quick use, getting past that Octorok on that troll staircase. And wow, arrows at 64. That's not bad at all. Going to do a screen scroll here over to vanilla level 5. Oddly enough, we've not seen any bombs in the shops yet. Not yet. So I'm curious what the bomb price is going to be like, or if it's going to be the rare item. We got level 7. Not uh, going to dig it right now. And ooh, level, level 9. nine. In the northeast corner, or no, no, level 3 vanilla. Yep, down here close to start. That'll be nice for the end game. And we got the take any roads on BT's side. Going over here in Death Mountain. Oh, Gary and take a, taking a bop right before it gets to that southwest corner. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That would not... I mean, that's just wasting time there, having to route back up. And BTs, that's, that room, that little screen, I would not be happy with at all, even though it was just, uh... That wasn't Lionel's, but still, could have been a lot worse. He's taking these up here on Death Mountain makes this open cave a nice quick check-in. Oh, Look wow. at that! Oh, that's got to feel good, but wow, what a spot to have the wood sword. And, uh, oh, and uh, Blue Candle is 51, meets 59, and Bombs are 13. So, well, even if they get a low large, I would say still not, it's still going to be a poverty, but it's not like they're going to be uh, really worried about their purchases. Yeah, absolutely. So, BT armed with this sword, maybe going to dip into level 4 here. Hmm. I would definitely see possibly a small dive, at least, just to see what they can find or if they can really get good progress. So, Ooh, bomb nice pickup. bomb drop. He oh, finds wow. a shop here. 
I'm expecting a bomb purchase, maybe, but mm, it says nope for now. And skipping past level 4, gonna find level 9 here. Scarion finds a low secret. Yeah, that 2 rupees, that's just gotta feel like, ugh. Sometimes all you need is an extra 1 or 2 rupees, though. That is very true. We've seen that many times where it was just one or two rupees out of hand, and ouch. Our shield's actually pretty cheap this go around. Yeah, oh, there's doubt the boomer. These runners will be picking up that large uh, shield, but you never know. Well, I've seen that large shield become a key factor for a few runners because of uh, being able to deal with robes easier in Lionels early on. Unfortunately, Octoroks, red ones are not 0 HP. Looks like the Tektites are. Looks like Garion's up here in the northeast corner. Yeah, Garion checking the uh, potion shop there, but not really finding what they're looking for, unfortunately. Unfortunately, they're going to have to go the other side of Death Mountain to find what they're looking for. They are going to find level... Or they oh, are gonna, I'm not sure what they're going to find here. Ugly, ugly, ugly large secret. It's 70 rupees. We are wow. looking at a poverty seed here, folks. Yep. This is going to be interesting to see how they spend their money, because definitely a poverty seed. But they were all like, hoping for like 120 plus, and nope. Luckily, that is enough to buy, a, buy that blue candle. It's enough to buy an arrow meat so i'm expecting a blue candle purchase here soon yeah bt finally finding level four and uh, nope out of it just for now maybe coming down here to buy a candle so we can light up these rooms that's what i'm thinking there we go 51 is not bad oh wow there's the magic sword magic sword under the forest armos yeah, very interesting location, but I really doubt we're going to see that come to play. Oh, there's a letter. Yep, using that boomerang like a pro. Stunning that armor so we can dip into that staircase. Hey, early game boomerang, I would be okay with at this point. Just because, well, you can stun, you can get around a little easier. Especially without a sword. Oh, yes. And some enemies might roll zero HP, so you can actually try to get some drops. Yeah, those arrows at 64, that's not too bad, and it's going to help, considering, well, this is a poverty seed at this point. Yeah, not, not too terrible, like I was saying earlier. You know, there's three large secrets. All three, you know, you can buy... Uh, Candle, you can buy bait, you can buy arrows. Probably not going to be seeing any blue rings, though. No, I highly doubt we're going to see any blue rings. So unless they find red, this is going to be a very uh, combat-heavy seed. Garion has found level 6, choosing to dip in here. BT's taking an unfortunate death there in 4. And wow, free Triforce in 6. Yep, one room in, can't beat that. Hopefully, no reason not to pick it up. Yeah, hopefully um, there's no important items in there. Hopefully, yeah, since Garion uh... took off. It's always nice when there's not an important item in level 6. And yeah, unfortunately for Garion, I mean, the more time... Ooh, and we have Silver Arrows in 4. Great find on BT's side. Big oh, weight that's it off your shoulders. Oh, and the raft is the coast item. I've all, I've seen that become the coast item quite often lately. I'm actually wondering if that's just a trend. Oh, and a triforce for VTs. I wasn't that far in four either. So, forest dungeon, you want to be? 
Easy level four. Yeah, in, out, done. Now it's time to go look for something else. Garion's over here in the Lost Woods, or the Dead Woods, doing a screen scroll up to the grave. Gonna check that spot. Oddly enough, we've not seen level one or eight yet. We are seeing some gambling over here on BT side. Getting uh, that poverty seed. I can see, go ahead and try the gambling. Oh, there's Cheers. a hand shop. Ooh, oh, the any key. key. That is a great find by Gary in there. BT's getting a lot of use out of that boomerang. Both these runners are putting it to very, very good use early on here. Unfortunately for the BTs, there's nothing in that shop you really needs at this point. Yeah, not gonna pick up the meat unless we find the bait block and we know it's required. Yeah, I mean, I've not seen any absolute required bait blocks, but I've seen some in 9 that have led to a faster route for Ganon and Zelda both. Got our first take in here on BT's side. Yep, the one east of the forgotten spot. Oh, there's level 8. Garion making his way up Death Mountain. I think he's narrowed down that wood sword cave. Unfortunately, not finding that take any route that BT found. Yeah, so I'm gonna go up the hard way in the firing squads, trying to get him, but fails. Yeah, I think that first take any cave was in the vanilla white sword location. And Gary didn't trek over there. But we got both runners with their wood swords at 12 and a half minutes in. And there's the book on BT's side, level 8. Yeah, so right now it looks like so BT's in that forgotten spot finding that level. Now it looks like I'm not sure where he's gonna go at this point. Probably northwest. Yep, looks like he's headed up Death Mountain. Still haven't found level one, two, or three. Yeah, this level 4 should be pretty quick for Gary. And ooh, he found the heart container. Very nice find. BT's still checking this northwest area, but unfortunately he's not finding anything. Found a potion shop there. So here's an idea. What would happen if you took away the, the Lionel's beam swords after you hit him once? That would be pretty fun, in my opinion. I think I would like that. Fred, can we get on that? BT's found level 5 in an early staircase, and a heart container. Well, at least he knows that won't be a floor drop in level 2, so... Yep, and, or level 1, and it gets him right. one step closer to that uh, any key. I don't think he's found that cave yet, but... Hello, Blue Wizard of Firing Squad in 5. As Garion takes a death in level 4... Yeah, and it looked like he killed the pancake as it hit him, too, so... Ouch. Unfortunately, he's leaving. And I hope he goes Wait. back, because we know the silvers are in there. He'll definitely be going back if he wants to finish the seed. Oh, of course. Let's just hope he's just looking for some bombs. I think that's what he's after. He's after some bombs, I think, at this point. Ah, uh, good call. I think there's a bomb shop, um, one screen south. He's 
looking for that free one off these blue enemies. Is Gary or BT picks up his Triforce out of five? Yeah, Four very good pickup for BT. Yeah, so I mean, the hard container. I mean, definitely not the item you wanted to find in there, but I understand picking it up because well, he needs that white sword item. Ooh, and seventy rupee secret. Get him into an arrow shop. Me. So at this point, it makes I'm definitely wondering where is level two and the other levels we haven't found yet. Because I mean, apparently they're all buried under bomb spots or burns. Yep, one, two, three. Um, it could also be a power burst spot or recorder lake. Or a raft. One of the raft spots. Yeah. Very interesting so far at the dungeon locations, too. They're all pretty spread out. And unfortunately, the taking is not helping too, too much. Um, it looks like BT's headed towards the graveyard. He'll find that any key shortly, and we'll find out if it's going to be a five hearts or a six heart requirement. Yeah, and could have been a four, but unfortunately, we won't be able to test that. I'm guessing Gary will be up another heart or two by the time he heads back over there. Yeah, I would hope so. All right, here we go. Let's see if BTs can get that kitty key. No, it's a six no. heart requirement. All right, first punch pulled game. Yep. I can definitely see them going back for that key, though. I mean, oh, even absolutely. spending the time, even spending the time to go get it, you're going to save so much time just to be able to burn through those key doors and dungeons in no time. Yep, even like at seven, eight keys, you're still going to be looking towards that. Hearts at 10 rupees a piece. Burning down the dead woods. Finds another take any. Oh, that's now he can go right back to pick that up. Yep. Will he is the question. Oh, absolutely. Had making that beeline. Gonna burn that's one more I would push do. before that screen scroll, and then right back there. Oh yeah. Well, he's gonna hit a few spots of the way, but it looks like he's definitely heading that direction at this point. And uh, I think that was the only spot he had left to check down here. And I'm gonna guess he's gonna up an A and burn some of those bushes by the start screen. That's what I'm thinking. And there's the silver arrows for Garion, so we're pretty much evened up on the important items. Now it's just Triforce difference. Yep. Garion will find that second one here in a couple screens. Pretty decent sword pickups for bolts. Yeah, I mean, Gary didn't pick up the sword around, I think it was 12.30, and I think BT's didn't find it until about six minutes in. Yeah, BT definitely found it quicker. Um, yeah, I think Gary did find it 12 and a half minutes in. Ooh, that two secret for BT's. I mean, every rupee counts at this point, though, considering how low of a seat it is for rupees. And skipping that one right there for whatever reason. Yeah, Garen picking up the, the level 4 Triforce piece and now making his way out. Unfortunately, he did not get the heart piece, or he did, I'm not sure if he got the heart piece in there or if he got it from the uh, level 6. And there's uh, BT's third taking E cave down on the coast, headed up towards the woods. Uh, doing some more gambling. Luckily, grabbed that negative one, so it's not too bad. But yeah, but I mean, win. yeah, but still, I can understand trying a few times for the gambling game, considering how low the rupee count is this time. And Gary finally getting that blue candle. It finally has enough money to get that blue candle. Yes. Well, look at it this way, too. At least since he bought it, he knows that if he can get four hearts out from the tank any caves, or three in a potion. Yeah, that's something we haven't seen, the potion prices, but we do have that letter. Yeah, so we should see it eventually, hopefully. 
And BT started racking up the money. Yep, more secrets coming for both these runners. No shield purchase. Yes. Definitely got to be frustrated, I would say, too, knowing that that blue ring is pretty much vanilla priced, a little over, and not going to be able to get it. Most likely, but here we find level 2 up in the northeast. Ooh, not the nicest room, but at least not bad enemies there for BT. That's not a nice room, though. Nope, I would not want to be stuck in there with a wood sword and no ring. Nope. Shutter door closing behind you. No thanks. Get me out of here, game. Yep, time to up A and say, all right, let's go another way. And I believe those uh, rooms with the orange floor can't be drop rooms, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Same. And oh, look at all. Look at this. We got a Gorilla firing squad. There we go. I was waiting for the bombs. And ooh, nice bomb drop. And hello, ladder, ladder block. block. Might have to bomb through that room if he wants to get around that block, maybe. Hopefully you can oh, ladder. Wow. Perfect. What an item. That'll get you through that block. So, yeah. So, le yeah, level two's got some water blocks. And, yeah, but here's that free ladder just sitting on the floor. It's free. Lyok returns by a lake. We knew that. Yeah, that book pickup could be absolutely crucial for BTs, even just getting these hands through the dungeons. And with a hundred rupees now, that hint shop's looking pretty good, too. Oh, yeah, I would be tempted. Yeah, I think it's pretty close to start, too, if I remember right. Yep. Oh, and there's a heart container for BTs out of two. Oh, and hello, Goma. Hopefully it's not blocking the Triforce. Oh, and, and it looks like that Wizrobe room is going to have the uh, Triforce, possibly. That's what it looks like. Yep. This, I, if this was me, I'd be, I would try to get my hearts up, but he's not going to. He's just going to go ahead and probably go bomb crazy and try to clear this, I'm betting. Yep. Poking them a little bit, see if they rolled low, but it's three. I think so. Ooh, it gets bodied. Seen. One more trek in, land a bomb drop. Wow, eight ladder blocks as soon as you walk in that direction. Yep, early Chevy room. Yeah, not nice. Yeah, at this point, I'm guessing BTs might try to uh, get some health up and try to clear that room again. That's what I'm thinking at this point. It looks like he's going for some fairy drops off these blue gurias. It's gotta be really careful though, these guys are really punishing when they want to be. Oh, meanwhile, Garion's dealing with a whole bunch of blue gorillas trying to get in that stairwell. Yeah, the gorillas are not the ones to uh, burn any boomerangs. They're gonna pick those oh. up. Oh, Recorder is an 8. That's an interesting find. Recorder, and didn't we find the other. Yes, the book was the other item in 8, I believe. So, two pretty decent items, in my opinion. I mean, a recorder's not, ex I would say, an item you absolutely want, but the book, with these settings, me, I'd love to find it. Yeah, recorder is pretty nice when you grab a few Triforces. It allows you to warp across the overworld a little bit. Well, that and also prevents a dig dogger block. Oh, wow, look at those fairy drops. Three? Nice. Yeah, he's got the health to do this. Come on. Come on, BT, get this. No problem. All right, and he gets the Triforce piece out of two. Very nice combat there. Not the ideal place to get your piece. Well, level two is pretty ideal, but not from Blue Wizrobe room. No, not with eight Blue Wizrobes trapped in there. That's yeah. not the place I'd want to be. Can't even exit and come back in. Ah, it looks like BT's now exploring that northeast corner. I think this is the book for uh, Garion. Yep, and that was actually a pretty smooth tactic, I would say. 
Uh oh. Um. Yep, as well say it's got to be Wall Masters at this point. That boomerang getting some use right here. Wow, four of them on screen at once. That was not a nice room. Oh, there's another hen shop. Shop. What are we doing? Step over to reach wow. the raft. Wow. Thanks. Well, we know the raft's coast item, so. But BT doesn't. Oh, feed Ooh. a strength for red candle. That's gonna be either level three or level one. Yep. Oh, it doesn't have enough for the final hint. Yep. Maybe try to farm some rupees real quick. Um, what, nine rupees off? It wouldn't be a terrible call. Yeah, or possibly wait until it comes back by, but just the one hint, unfortunately, the raft was not that useful. So if he would have went to the coast, he would have seen it. Oh, and there's the book for Garion. And BT's actually is only two hearts away from checking to see if that magic sword comes into play. I will say this about the Swiss rounds. Don't underestimate the power of the book. Throughout these Swiss rounds, it's been very crucial in some race wins. He's wishing he found that a little closer to start so he could save that money. Oh, yes. And ouch, Garen taking a death there to the dig dogger. He was having none of that. Even armed with the recorder, dig dogger is no joke. And there's the Triforce for Garen at eight. Three Triforces down, Silver Arrows, but BT has the ladder. And BT's now in six, so this should be an interesting... Oh wow, and finds the piece, was like, nope, I'm just gonna go explore. Yep, armed with that any key, not a bad call. And then Orange Woods robes in here, I would not be complaining of that. With, with Orange Gorillas, that's not a bad enemy set. Wow, game said no on that boomerang toss for that last uh, keys. Looks like I'm a little bit behind. I'm going to go and refresh my stream here. Uh, BT's trying to get that reverse clip to get in the staircase. We're probably just going to have to walk around if he keeps failing at it. There we go. Very nice. Just the transport. Yeah, but at least now knows where the transport staircases are, so if he finds another staircase, he knows that's the item. Oh, and hello, Blue Wizards. You are in this enemy set, along with the Wall Masters. That's a, not a nice room. It's a couple hearts off these area. A uh, medium seeker there for Garion. BTs at least will not be ladder blocked in six, so this should be interesting to see what the item is. I'm, I'm gonna wager it's probably gonna be something like the power bracelet. I'm not gonna guess the go mode item. Well, at this point, I mean, it could be all sorts of puzzles where ladder to raft to uh, find power bracelet, and yeah. I mean, I don't see that happening, but it is possible. I mean, yeah, I think even you would agree, August. I mean, find the Silver Arrows is a relief, but I think I would personally probably want to find the boat first. Unfortunately, with the flags where, you know, important items can be in level 9, uh, you know, I... Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you get. Well, the advantage for me of picking up that 
when you find the bow before going to nine is at least you if you're lucky enough to get the silver arrow skin it'll tell you if they're there or not that's true although if that's you the main those, reason get those silver arrows that uh you know decreases the potential purchase you might make wow that any key was key there for bt otherwise he was gonna have to leave a heart At least it wasn't bombs and health for the mugger. Yep, still no item here in level 6, though. Yeah, he's found the Triforce. I mean, it's in the first room, but yeah, you're right. The item's been very elusive so far. Gary is back in the forest burning bushes and seeing what he can find. Well, even though we're in a poverty seat, at least hearts seem to be pretty plentiful, the heart containers. I mean, they're up to eight already for BT, and Garen's sitting at seven. Could be worse. They're pretty healthy boys. Ooh, and Blue Wizard Robe's testing that health on BTs are. Yeah, looks like Garen's going to level two. Let's see if, uh... He'll be just as good at clearing out those blue wizard robes. Find that ladder first. Yeah, that ladder find should be the key for Garen. I don't know if if I was Garen, if I'd go for that Triforce piece, because he's about to find the blue wizard robes here, and once he finds a compass, it's going to be an interesting decision to see if he goes for it or not. I think and... all those... Ooh, that's a nice bomb while you... Yeah, but unfortunately it leads into the uh, ladder blocked room, but I believe he can bomb to the right here. Oh no, Aquamento's level 6. No, I think this is the... I think there's only um, two rooms here on the bottom. Yep. Uh, BT saying no to that dig dogger in 6 and just bypassing. There's not many more areas that that item can hide in level 6 at this point. Looks like he's just gonna grab this Triforce and say, alright, might come back, but hopefully not. Yeah, Cyberchild put up a good point that the Dig Dogger could be blocking the item in 6. And Chat's also pointed out a good uh, thing, is that level 1 could very well be hidden behind the Power Bracelet. Yep, it's got to be either level 1 or 3 for that hint that um, yep. Garion's finding that shop. And he's going to up an A, save. Did now I'm curious. Other one by start here? I well, BT's is going to go for that raft. Now let's go see if we can check that raft spot. Yeah, I think uh, there's a hint shop actually just one screen north of their start. Nope, BT says, nope, I'm not going to check that raft spot. I don't think there's a dungeon there. But Garion using that whistle, he's uh, whistling back to level 6, and he's going to grab these hints here. Very uh, smart play, in my opinion, here. So he's going to learn about the um, power bracelet block, and he's going to give us the last hint that BT was unable to purchase. Yeah, so I'm going to watch that last hint be the bow. Guarded by Aqua Menace. Yeah, the raft here to you that one. You're probably sitting there going, well, that's nice. And these hints are relatively expensive, this set. Oh, so the white sword is hidden under Recorder Lake, apparently, possibly, or a Dig Dogger block. So we have a uh, two levels that are guarded by items. So one of either level one or three is either recorder blocked or power bracelet blocked. Yes. Yeah, so this is turning out to be an interesting seed. Raft not gonna be helpful at all. Yeah. The. But okay. there could be a level hidden behind raft. No, we have found all the levels. I mean, well, we haven't found level 1 or level 3, but we have two hints. 
One says that uh, one of those is behind the power bracelet, and one of them is under recorder lake here. Gary and all. Give us the answer in just a second as to which one's which. Yeah, so let's see if the dodge is actually... Oh, and dodge 3 is under recorder lake. Oh, wow. Alright, so power bracelet somewhere out there will lead to level 1. So, yeah, if the power bracelet's here, it will lead to level 1. This could be the key. BT back up on Death Mountain, taking the any cave. Delphos holding a heart container for Garion. Yeah, that's definitely a welcome find, considering they know, already know, no blue ring. So, if full hearts, well, he can survive one Hyrule driver. So, BT may be heading back into level 8? That's what it looks like. Yeah, I'm also surprised the chat's saying he hasn't went for the any key, so it's kind of surprising that he chose not to go get it yet. It's not really been an easy way to route that in, although level 3 here is pretty close. Yeah, I mean, I can understand the quick dive in 3, because both, but the problem is with no bombs and no keys, this could get really tricky, and wow. Not a nice dungeon so far. Oh, but here yeah. comes the boomerang use. I think Garion had, had also known that it was going to be either level 1 or level 3, and they're both very small dungeons, but if it had been level 1, that's two items, um, so he made a, a beeline for this, absolutely. Good call. Yeah, and it looks like both taking a death are almost simultaneously, so that's going to reset their progress a little bit. Yeah. Triforce number four for BT, but he's going to dig that second item. I really do not blame for digging the second item, and also we already know that that second item will be the recorder. Oh, and Gary, and just that room is just nasty with those uh, danger noodles. And decides I've had enough, I'm out of here for right now. So, unfortunately, we didn't get to see the item in three yet. Nope. He might be uh, just headed up to the any key, and he might. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, it's only a few screens away. Yeah, here we go. He's going up to the grave to go pick it up. Very nice display. Yeah, nothing else in this area, and he's checked everything by it. BT's having some fun with some gorillas. Oh, there's the fairy drop. So, as of right now, I mean, we're pretty much up in the air where that bow could be. I mean, there's not. There's quite a bit of possibilities still, because they haven't really dug all that many items out yet. BT's grabbed his fifth Triforce there. He might be gambling on a level 9 with the bow. I can see the gamble, I mean, at this point, but I mean, we haven't found level 1. A lot of other items up in the air, but I mean, the early information from 9, just finding Ganon and uh, Zelda could be key. The only thing I might do is check that hint, hint cave by start. He's got 79 rupees. Yeah, that I would see, I could see coming doing the save and retry, because I mean, like you said, it's really close. And it would only take about, I'd say, 30, 45 seconds to check. I know at least one of them found it. I thought it was BT. Yep, and Garion's choosing to get that quick health refill. BT is in 9, here we go. So what we're looking for here in Nines, Ganon's Roar, you'll be able to hear him from an adjacent room. We're also looking for the shutter door for Zelda. It's either going to stay shut after everything's been cleared, then we know that's her room, but if Ganon is dead, it will open immediately on entering the room with enemies. So you will know that that's the right room. 
Also looking for all those staircases. Looking for two items, because we're still looking for the bow. And a bunch of hints. That yes. Tell us either the location of uh, Ganon, the location of Princess Zelda, or um, it might give us the location for the Silver Arrows, which of course we know, or the uh, enemy that guards the compass. Oh, there's a red ring here in level 9. Looks like we will not be getting any level 9 confirmation from BT's side. Looks like uh, he's got some different music playing. Yep, unfortunately. So, uh, fortunately we'll switch the audio back to Garion, but uh, right now BT's finding that red ring. That's going to really help with the last parts here. And if anyone's watching BT's stream and they you know, get confirmation of the pig, please let us know. Yeah, Gary and being very careful here and not I can definitely see what he's trying to do. He's trying to kill the one so he can just uh with the beam sword so he can just pop out of the room and be like, okay, despawn. Here we go. And is this the final item of nine? Nope, transfer. Chances are it's gonna be transport staircase. Oh yeah, there's a lot of I don't think he I don't think the thing was that what the second one we've seen so far. Yeah, a lot more to go. And Gary trying to clear this reverse C. This could Ooh, be the item. Is. There's the bow and nine. Wow. wow. Talk about wow. So it wasn't the, the risk pays. The red ring. Nope. Yeah. The bow. So we're in go mode at this point for BTs. This is going to be over probably in the next, I would say, five minutes or so. No, that nine, nine. Also known that as nine, wow. The great equalizer. Oh, yes, but I mean, at this point, you've got to be feeling really good. Forty Less than 45 minutes in, you've got bow, ladder, silvers, and red ring. Unfortunately, yeah. a white sword. That red ring was a nice pickup. That hinge shot told us that the white sword is here in level three. Yeah, this has definitely been a very interesting seed and very quick. And there's the power bracelet in three. Oh, interesting. So this will probably lead Gary into the power bracelet push blocks, unfortunately. Well, we'll find level one, and I guess it's level one that has the white sword. Yeah. So level one probably, yeah, it does probably have the red candle and the white sword at this point. Which is unfortunate. So we don't know all the items, but I can give a fairly complete item rundown at this point. Um, level 1 we know at least has the white sword, level 2 had the ladder, level 3 the power bracelet, level 4 had our silver arrows, I believe, yeah, I don't think we found the items, or no, level 5 had the heart container, we haven't found the item out of 6 or 7, level 8 had the book and, the book and the recorder, the ladder item was the raft, the armless item Lord Banana, and the magic, uh, the white sword item was the magical key. So yep. that leaves the boomerang, the red candle, yeah, and... magic boomerang. Because the boomerang was almost, so yeah, magic boomerang, red candle, white sword, and I'm not sure what else. Well, the white sword we know has to be in level 1 from the hint. Oh, the wand. So, boomerang, red candle, and wand are items that have yet to be found.
Yeah, BT's working his way through this level 9. Unfortunately, not finding what he's looking for yet. I've got a couple of those columns cleared up about halfway through the map. That's a typical strat when looking for Zelda's room. Just take those columns and head up, up, up. Looks like Garion found a large secret under that push block spot there. Yeah, so BT's here now, just needs to find Ganon and Zelda. I mean, apparently taking the transport staircases to try to get around a little quicker, it seems. Maybe headed back into level 2 to take out the wizard robe room. Nope, checking this power bracelet up here. Nope, no secret. Wow, that was worth it. Two rupees, small secret. There's oh, here's Ganon. Ooh. And it's ladder it. blocked. And there was also a Patra uh, masking the sound to that room in the right. Yeah, that's not nice, but it looks like we're going to have a pig roast here soon if we get this nice stun log. And BT is holding it very nicely. Yep, looks like it. Oop. Did lose it, but two hearts, but no potion. But I don't think he's going to have a problem at this point. Looks like he's got the stun lock engaged, and we're good. Let's see how we're going here. And we have Bacon. Let's see, is Zelda in the next room? No, she is not, but it looks like she could be to the right. And there's Zelda. Boom. Done. Yep, I uh, kind of guessed is, uh, just a few moments before that we had BT joining us in the chat here. Good games, dude. Hey, thank you so much. You're a little bit, sound a little far away there, BT. And also, BT's official SRL time was 47.18. Get your GGs in chat. Help, I'm super far away. There we go. But, uh, what'd you think of the seed? Um, my notes have a lot of question marks, if that helps. Uh, well, what were the, are those question marks? Maybe we can fill you in. Alright, so, uh, level 6 was super free, and, uh, I, I dug for the item. One room that could have had the item was recorder blocked, and the other one was just combat blocked and super far away. I'm like, well, this is a fool's errand, so I'll just question marks here. So I don't know what was in 6. I never found level 1, but I'm pretty sure it is blocked by the power bracelet and has a red candle and magic boomerang in it, because I found the book so early, I was able to take those hints. Partially correct. Uh, level 1 is power bracelet blocked. It is unlocated at this point, but it has the white sword. And? Uh, we don't know, because it hasn't been found yet. <laughs> okay, yep. so the red candle is blocked by a feat of strength, I believe. Yes. Um, no, level 1 is blocked by the feat of strength, uh, which has yep. the white sword. Well, um, level 3 is blocked by the recorder, which had the power bracelet, so a little bit of a chain reaction there. So 3's in 7? Yep. Alright, that's what I deduced. So the this items is the we... fastest time I've had um, visiting every single overworld like, place. I didn't go into 7, obviously, but I narrowed down that 3 had to be there. Yep, it was uh, the recorder that was the other item in 8 that led you there. Yeah. And then uh, what, that that 25 uh, rupee hint actually gave you the hint that uh, level 3 was down there. You know what's funny is that um, that Dodongo eating my last bomb in level 8 actually drove me towards early 9. Because I was like, well, I'm out of bombs, and I have the best chance of getting out of um, level not getting items at level nine. And then I was able to global count some bombs up and go to go to vanilla three where nine was, and then immediately found the red ring. So I didn't give up. If I had been digging mine for a while and found the red ring, I probably would have left. But since I found both items really, or I found the red ring super early, I decided to stay and just look for the other item, and that was really close by too. Yeah, definitely a good call, as uh, Garion just picked up his 5th Triforce out of level 2. 
I I don't imagine that he is very close to me. I didn't feel nervous like I have in other races. This one I felt like I was just on fire the entire time. I've really been on fire with Zelda lately. Um, I'm not really good at rando, but um, my, my overworld clipping felt really nice. And my bomb forcing and my bomb counting felt really nice. Yeah, this was a very nice seed as uh, Gary is, is entering level 9. I think he's going to pick up the red ring here. be interesting to see if he stays in and digs out the bow. But uh, very uh, interesting that the bow had the red ring and uh, you know, the bow in here. Yeah, that was super fortunate. I just figured... Any sight of the rod? I would have liked to have a rod. Yeah, we haven't found that. The magic boomerang, the red candle... Yeah, those uh, are the items we've been missing. I guess the rod's in seven by that logic, then. Yeah, six, seven, or the other item in level one. Oh, yeah, possibly. Rough seed, because no level one. That's like two free items, usually, in a really small dungeon. But the game so, made up for it by placing all the Triforces within three steps of start. Well, how about all those, uh, secrets? Large secret at 70, small at 2. That was poverty, see? Did you see how much time having the book saved? Like, Definitely. letter for yes. letter? Yeah. Changing the... Kids don't work, read books anymore to, uh, me? That was amazing time savings. Yeah, but uh, n neither of you guys uh, checked that hints shop that was, I think, one screen north of uh, where you started at. I didn't write it down. I didn't know where uh, it was. I would have. I wanted it badly. It looks like Garion has found Princess Zelda's room, a little different route than you took. Yeah, again, yes. running out of bombs forced me to go back there. What else does Garion know? Did he go into um, Seven or... He did not. So he grabbed the Triforces out of 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. Yeah. How about the same that ones as you did. Yeah, that was an ugly room. Wow, ropes rolling 0 HP. Boomerang's just taking quick work of these. Um, but the other, couples. other information that he grabbed that you didn't was just the, uh, level th the power brace on level 3. Yep. Where was level three? Uh, Recorder Lake. All right. Yep. Which uh? Oh man. Uh. Okay. Yeah. So level one is just in one of four places. Yeah, Gary actually checked the one by the south coast and the one up on the northeast. Oh, he ran out of lunch. Ooh, yikes. That's n that's not good. Not in level 9. Also, he doesn't have the bow yet. He's still exploring. Yep. Oh dear. The gels have 1 HP or 0? I uh, wasn't, haven't been paying attention to that. I think he could have boomeranged that last one. Yeah, those bombs uh, came nicely with the Oh, you're fine. No, the, uh, so, so far, it looks like Garion's doing pretty good exploration of 9. Unfortunately, it was almost bomb starved there for a moment. Uh, yeah, that was... Even though I picked up so many bombs, it was... It's never enough. It's never enough. Yeah, I know, bombs are almost, almost always a no, and... Wow, Gary tried to bomb out of that room and no joy, so down to one bomb again. Yeah, that's something we did not see. We didn't see any of the, the bomb upgrades. Yeah, we didn't see one at all. Or the meat block. Oh, hi, Rupee boss. There's that one mugger room in... Where was that, level 6? Yep. Yeah, BT ran into it. I was like, ooh. Finding that hint for Princess Zelda, which he already knows. I didn't yeah, get that kind of funny. The yeah, which I think is kind of funny is the compass wasn't that far on the other side of Zelda's room, and that hint room is kind of on the way. <laughs> I kind 
to do the same path through 09 every time. I go up and then left and then get back and then I want to leave. Find a staircase. Oh, there's the hint for the beast. Yeah, I got this hint. This one's good. That's that's the drop everything and bomb down hint. If you have a bow, of course. And if you have bombs. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mild problem. This blue gorilla had in between seven and infinity health. I did not like that very much. Do you guys know what the flag changes are for the uh, second half of this tournament? Not positive, but I think they're listed. I thought they were listed already on the Discord at this point. Yeah, I'm ignorant as well. I'll have to take a look and see if there was any flag changes. As long as none of us know, we're all equally cool. Yeah, right. Was this the bow? No, that bow was like in, um... F6 or, or F7 or something. It's like in the southeast corner. I think it's east of east of Old Man or northeast of Old Man. Any key is definitely paying off here. Oh, how about the heart requirement on any key? That was fun. Oh, it looks like Garen is about to find the piggy, but no bow. Yeah, it's unfortunate yeah. to have the bow, but at least now knows where Ganon and Zelda is. Yep, and I was just reminded that uh, because he's playing the Lionel Sprite, he gets to fight Princess Zelda and rescue Ganon. Yes, I forgot about that as well, so yeah, this should be... I mean, the bow wasn't really too terribly far for entrance, was it? Uh, bow is uh, right and up from Old Man. From the entry screen. Uh, he's headed left. With each new screen, he learns something new. Zol have four or fewer HP, but the gel inside have two, which is super annoying because their movement is bugged out. Yeah, it was... Forge for Gary in this level nine is not being nice at all to allow him to hopefully find that bow, but at least he's still digging, so that's a good sign. Yeah, not for sure. He's gonna give up right there with zero bombs and uh, no, no leads. Wow, this room's not nice. No, you can't even bomb out of this trap room. It took three of my bombs right off the bat. Yeah, which is kind of unfortunate, because, I mean, it's right at the start. It makes you think, you know, eh, I can get a bomb layer somewhere. Oh, and then the monster set is atrocious. There's maybe, like, six red dark nuts in all of level nine. Yeah, the dark nuts didn't really make that much of an appearance this time that I saw. Got some uh, squishy ropes, though. Oh yeah, those ropes are nothing. Just boomerang and done. Snakes don't like banana. Nope. That makes sense. I mean, if you make them swallow it, it it'd get rid of them. Did you? So yeah, so we'll just have to wait and see if Gary can find that bow. Hopefully. knows about what I knew, but what would make him think the bow is here? So I was pretty sure it wasn't. And there's the leave. Oh, is he gone now? Alright. I'm not sure where he's headed now. I mean, there's only a handful of levels he can check. I mean, he does know that one is power bracelet blocked. Here was my thinking. My thinking was that the recorder was in nine, and the recorder was going to open up the path to the bow. 
Yeah. Right now, uh, Garion's picking up the hint, so let's see if he gets that hint. That's a good hint. All right, so Gryas with the wand. As, as predicted. I mean... And Goma creeps with white sword. So six is white sword, seven is broad, eight is... The chat was right. The dig dogger was blocking it. There's nothing of interest in here. The candle blocked candle shop. I mean, with the info Gary now knows, there's only one dungeon with a possibility of having the bow, and that's one, which should be power bracelet blocked, I thought. Yeah, it is. I am a fan of the um, take any roads on this seed. They were helpful. Yeah, they definitely get you around pretty decently. And wow, unfortunately didn't need that bomb drop at that point. That's how it works, right? Bombs when you don't? Oh yeah, bombs always drop when you're full. Fairies when you're full in health. This should be level 1, I'm guessing he's about to go to here. We'll see. Then you're gonna get the bad news bears. Oh no, the bow is a 9. Yeah. I bet he's like, how the heck did BT finish already? Yeah, no, he's he's moving along pretty decent, but I'm not sure where level 1 could be hiding. I think we've checked most of the power bracelet spots at this point. The one I forget to check is the one by the fairy fountain. Yeah, I think that's the one he's going to right now, it looks like. But yeah, this should narrow down everything. There we go. There's level 1. So this room and the room next to it, I forget. Corral one. Come on, Marion. Clear out these rooms. Enemy set so far has not been too nasty. But we know that the Wiz rooms are in this set. I believe. Nope, Dark Nuts. Yeah, Rope's Dark Nuts and Soul. Bubbles, I guess. Yeah, no, the, the Wiz Robes were with uh, the Grios, so that's right. And uh, Wallmasters? Yep. Probably That's what I was thinking. Because I'm always, like, panic-stricken. And finds the scrap metal. And picks it up. I enjoyed my boomerang. I was using it as much as possible. Oh, I was noticing that, and yes. I mean, that boomerang was getting a lot of use from both you and Carrion, actually. It's great. I work so hard for it. Yeah. Um, looks like uh, Gurgan's saying, no, I don't want to know what the other item is. It's the red candle, right? You should have had that hint. Yeah, so that's right. So, now no, it's level one doesn't contain the bow, and I don't think there's any other possibilities with the information he knows, really, that where it is. It's gotta be nine. I couldn't afford the third hint at the, uh, east of the vanilla candle shop in the upper right corner. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing, though, he's going to probably head back towards 9 at this point. Yeah, now that you have bombs. Yep, it's got bombs. Knows it's not in 1. Going, okay, it's got to be a 9 somewhere. 1 health mod would know it would just topped up on bombs. Yeah, I agree. So right now, it looks like he's headed back in. Let's see. I think Garion's got about half of the 9 finished by now on mapping. Also 
That is correct, but he does know where Ganon and Zelda are, so once he finds the bow, it shouldn't be that long of a seed for him to finish at this point. Oh, that's a good bomb hole right there. There's the bow. There we go. All right, Gary, let's go the bow. All right, you should bring it in at about 109 or 110. Yeah, somewhere around there, I would think. I don't know how good he is at fighting Ganon with the wood sword, but he's pretty knowledgeable about the game, so it should be a trivial fight. Yeah, with Red Ring this many hearts, I don't think it's going to be that difficult, unless he just gets really bad luck. It's a nice, good room. Um, he's going to enter from the from the right, which should make it easier, too. Yeah, that was an interesting room to find Ganon in, considering where the moat was. And there being a Patra in there, it was completely unexpected. Yeah. Of course. Don't you know Patra's the real boss of Zelda? Ugh, he really is. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ganon's not being nice there. It looks like he's starting to cooperate. Yeah, he's got this. That's oh, yeah, he's got this. That's, that's a sign of good tech right there. That's the safe tile. That second tile up from the corner and just face right and start spamming the sword. Anyone out there who wants to play randomizer, this is the strat. Yep, and he's got a nice stun lock going here, and we got bacon. Let's see, Garion's official SRL time is 107.38, and get your GG's in chat. Good game, Garion. Thank you. Sounds like you guys were a little bit delayed on your end, because I joined as you guys were saying I was going into Ganon. Yeah, but yes. a few minutes. Garion. GG, BT. GG, sir. Well played. 